Hello everyone, welcome off to you all. Uh, a brand new game I just found because, um, you know, sometimes these things happen, you know. I look around and I see something that interests me and uh, I think these videos aren't too, you know, time ex extensive. So, um, it's, um, 50 years. So, um... I don't know much about this game other than it is a strategy game. It's like a simple advised version of a castle defender. I think. You guys survive in you guys survive 50 years. Now the cool thing about this game is there's like mythology stuff going on. So that's cool. Um I'm just gonna get right into it. You can pick uh, different types of uh, civilizations. Which will, uh, like, look, you can get freaking minotaurs and stuff. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's all sorts of, uh, that's kind of mean. <laughs> but maybe that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, there's lots of, uh, different civilizations. I'm not sure if this is, like, uh, obviously it's fantasy, but I'm not sure what time period this is supposed to be reflective in. Kind of looks like a... Victorian era type of thing, but uh, I think I'm gonna go with Americans um, because um, the extra gold seems like a good idea. She even had a little eagle on her um, on her shoulder because America, right? All Americans have one eagle on each shoulder, and uh, and Mountain Dew. Uh, let's see. So we got. So this is the interface. It's very simplistic. Uh, I think this is maybe it started off as a, like a phone game or maybe it is a phone game you never know we got different buildings uh, I don't know the the big mechanics for each thing hmm, 50 gold per year that seems good plus one food I don't know what f I guess food is like I'm thinking I want to get a chicken farm. We have enough food to feed four more units. Okay, so food is to build units. Gotcha. So let's hire a sword man. Maybe. Wow, that was a lot of gold I just spent. Okay, um, I don't think I can build anything else now, can I? Uh... Yep, I cannot. So we got more units. Uh, scouting. We can't do anything. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, it's in the year. So this kind of feels like uh, Settlers of Catan or uh, what's another one? Like those? Oh, hello! I am being attacked by a militia man. Two to three damage. He has three courage. Send the peasant into battle or fight. I mean, we bought a sword man for a reason. Yeah. Fight this peasant. Take that peasant. Oh man, we're kick Whoa, man, we kicked that peasant's ass. <laughs> Take that, you bitch. Boom. That's why you need uh that's why you need an army, my friends. And we got faith for that. Not sure what faith does. We got money though. Alright, let's build a forester to get more gold. And then any a hundred dollar buildings around? Doesn't seem like it. We already got a barracks and we already got a town hall. I'm assuming we will do more to make more things and do more stuff. It seems like the early game you can't really do too much. So in the year again. Oh, nothing happened that time. Interesting. Okay. I'm actually surprised. Uh, do we get another one? I think, yeah, like get another one. Like, because we need to start building up gold if we're going to, like, purchase stuff. I see we're scouting. Gotcha. In the year. So, does a... So, this question mark means at this dot we'll run into somebody? I think that's what that means. So, maybe the, we'll run into a swordman. That would be interesting. We don't need many troops. Um, eventually, I might go for a church. Since faith is a thing. 
How many of these can I build? I see, it, the cost keeps going up every time you build one. So let's just get one last one then. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's, it's not a militia man. We're fine. I do wonder, like, do we need like a special building to heal our units? But it doesn't seem like that's the case. So what we got? Actually, no. It seems to just be random. Okay, that's good to know, I guess. So I got 600 now. I need 700 for a church. Sky City, eh? What the fuck? You can literally hire angels. Angels in the outfield, people. That's how they win won their games. That's why they're named the Angels, baby. Cow shed for food. Food's not an issue right now. Let's hire more, uh, more soldiers. Then, uh, can I build another one? I can. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you actually got a swordman this time. Good thing I got my two swordmen. Really? That's the way you do it? There you go. Double team. Booyah. Man, maybe we don't need a church. Because uh, we seem to be doing well. Your scouts have discovered the chicken devil's altar. What? Deal with the chicken devil. Deal. Transformation. Chicken devil give you scroll of transformation, but he will take your soul in exchange. What the fuck? All units in the enemy's army turn into zombie chickens. Deal. Killing. Chicken devil will kill a random enemy unit before each battle starts, but the devil will take your soul later. Banish the devil. Banish you, chicken devil. I will keep my soul. Bet you that's an instant game lose. It seems like... Yeah, like every year I could just do this. <laughs> And I will, I will get more gold than I, I, than I will not get gold. So that was that event. Okay. I wonder if they're random or if it's always a chicken devil. Once again, we, we do this dance. You think you got me, but hey, bro, I got you. So I'm going to hire another swordsman because I believe they're just going to keep increasing. We're getting a lot of food. I guess the the buildings I'm building are helping too. Din was found. Zombie chicken graveyard. What the freak is with the zombie chickens? Holy crap, look at all these zombie chickens. I mean, they're not too tough. Actually, they're, they're pretty easy. Let's go. Kill the zombie chickens. Don't get overwhelmed, guys. You got this. Oh, one of them got killed. It's fine, it's fine. You did it. What? What's in a dungeon? Yeah, what is it? I got two food and we killed some zombie chickens. But I lost my guy, so I'll have to rehire him. And I wanna, I wanna hire more swordsmen because it seems like swordsmen is the thing to, thing to do here. What the freak, man? Well, thank God I hired that guy. All right, let's go. I, I'm not controlling these, by the way, so. Oop, sucks for you. Should have gotten more. Man, we're getting shit tons of faith. Oh, okay. New belief. What the freak? We got a chicken god? Is that the, the opposite of the chicken devil? Pantheon of fat chickens. At the beginning of the battle, two random units on the army get plus 20 life, life plus one food from... Okay, what about this? Legend of the miners. Peasants mine 10% more gold. 500 gold at once. This seems good. I like I like the extra gold. Gold seems to be the thing. Ooh, Legend of the Forest. Three forester huts appear for free? That's amazing! Each forester's hut gives plus one food? I like this cat. Temple of Defenders. Two swordmen join the army immediately. Eh, it's not really that good. I'm sure they get better the more you go down. Equality Church. The cost of hiring units decreased by 50. That seems good. I'm going for foresters since I have a shit ton of that uh, forest huts, and I mean that's just fucking amazing. That's just free gold. I think yeah, we'll go down the forester one for as long as we can, and I think I will hire another swordsman. Uh, I guess uh, we'll hire more peasants down the line because I think peasants get more gold too. 
if I'm not mistaken. I need to start building other things, though. Like, getting that faith, that's pretty good. I think I will build a church. I'll just end the year. Hire the last swordsman. And then we'll save up for peasants. Like, where are we on this road? We're going this way, apparently. Are we doing both sides? I'm not... I'm kind of confused, but... I think we're doing well. Now we don't have to win battles all the time, so... We'll get our... Our... Our crap faster. And we're getting shit tons of gold. I should get another one, but... At the same time... Not really that necessary. Ooh, monastery. We can turn people into paladins. Hmm. I think knights... I think eventually we will need knights. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's just get knights now. Whew, thousand gold. Because I bet you they're gonna upgrade their shit. Ooh, they got uh, archers. Ooh, we might die here. Alright, let's see what happens. Kill the one guy. Kill him. Alright, you got this, guys. You got this. Booyah. Kick their ass. Good job. Okay, so if I hire this guy, let's hire two of them. Yeah, just a flat out 100 gold. That's pretty good. So I'll start hiring, um, and I'll hire a knight. I'll start hiring uh, peasants now, because you're just going to get f a better deal than building foresters all the time. Although foresters now give you food, so if I start running out of food, I'll start uh, building more of them. Can't do anything else. Holy moly, look at this. Well, we got a knight now. Knight's pretty badass. Alright guys, go for it. Holy moly. Okay, we're losing people. Oh, what? They killed my knight? Holy crap, we got our asses kicked there. I mean, we still won, but that still wasn't good. I think I need to do this now. <laughs> we lost so bad. Plus 200 word per year from lumber mills. We don't have any lumber mills. The force heals injured units. Up to 30 life can be healed. That's pretty good. When your unit dies in combat, a tiger appears on your side. That's awesome. The of your entire army is defeated. Nine tigers appear! <laughs> Some fucking tigers! Yeah, I'm definitely doing this. Because we got kind of wrecked there. And I'm gonna... Gonna hire this. Hire a peasant. And then I'll get another knight. Because we definitely need another knight. Another peasant. So far, so not bad. Was uh, relocates peasants. Peasants will produce 20 wood and minus 2 gold per year for each lumber mill. That sounds bad. Why do I need wood? Is that for like the archers? Yeah, that's for archers. I guess if you're going for an archer type of strategy, then you'd want to do that. <laughs> to get a minotaur thing, you got to build a cow shit. Okay. Good to know, I guess. In the air. Gonna hire another knight. The knight didn't really do very well, in my opinion. Oh, this doesn't seem good, but... Send a peasant into battle. I mean, yeah, let's like get two more. Let's get the advantage. All right, here we go. Kill the peasants. I think that I think that helped. Yeah. I don't think we lost anyone. Uh, we lost one person, which is totally fine. All right, what we got? Minotaur's area. Ooh, that's a lot of faith. If all your units die in battle, the Hydra appears on your side. Okay. So we fight three minotaurs, or um, we have to die. <laughs> I, uh, both of these sound bad. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 300 faith. Army of Lair. What a what a good name. 
Let's get three my militiamen. You know what? Let's get four. Go, my my people. Fight. Oh, we are getting decimated. Okay, that was a bad idea. Oh, and that's it. That's the end of the game. Wow. Okay. Well then. You cannot be defeated is apparently the name of this game. Well, that was very interesting. It's a very simplistic game. And I could see like you doing many different strategies in order to try and last the 50 years. It was my fault for trying to go up against Minotaurs. I did not know how strong Minotaurs are. Obviously, they are fucking ass kickers. Um, at least the Loch Ness Monster one, or the, the Hydra one, when you get wiped, you at least could continue the game. But good to know. This is a game where you, you're you expected to fail, and those are the kind of games that are the most fun, I would say, when it comes to strategy. Where it's not, it's not meant to be demoralizing, it's meant to be a learning experience, which is quite nice. So then, yeah, I'll probably play more of this, you know, maybe in my spare time. But until uh, the next uh, video I cover, I'll uh, see you in the next one. So, uh, later Gators, bye.